welcome to the uh, Centennial Collegiate um, Spring Program. It's exciting to be able to say that. It's been quite a while for me. My name is Mrs. Odin, and I am the Choral Director here at CCI. And uh, it's been a delight to be welcomed into this program. I want to thank our administration, who is so supportive. And I want to thank, uh, most of all, Ms. McBride, who is such a wonderful, um, talented human who uh, is always super impressed and super focused on her students' um, skills and their talents. And uh, it's been a joy to share in making music with her and meeting all of your wonderful students. It's been really exciting. So tonight is amazing because one of the only classes um, canceled due to the pandemic, flat out, has been choir and it's been silent. It's been silent for two years. So uh, we're very excited and we're very lucky that in quarter four, we were able to bring choir back. So the exciting part is we're about to sing um, the amazing part is we put this all together in just a few weeks. As you know, the quarter moves pretty quick. So I just met your students, but I'm so impressed with them. Um, and I want to thank them for all of the dedication and the positive attitude that they've had throughout our short amount of learning time together. Uh, I would be remiss as a choral director if I didn't say the slogan of it's not too late to join. We're hoping to build our program here. So just to let you know, it's in the newsletter that uh, choir is a full credit class. It will be offered for the entire year next year, every second day alternating. So spread it around. We'd love to make music with as many people as possible. On stage tonight, we are joined by some of our um, CCI band students, and we're very lucky to make music with them tonight. And I've just been so impressed with their musicianship and their uh, willingness to, uh, to have fun. And, and do this with us. So what I would like to do is I'm going to call upon um, Olivia Nickel and Kira Zorbis to introduce our performance for you. Wabalon is a folk song and dance often performed during Malaysian festive occasions. It is performed in the traditional style where performers sit in rows to sing and do body movements. The song describes the beauty of the Malaysian traditional kite. Wabalan symbolizes the hope and resilience of the human spirit. As the kite ascends into the sky, it leaves behind the uncertainty of a world reeling from a pandemic and political struggles and guides us ever closer to peace, hope, and the promise of a better tomorrow. Please enjoy Wabalan.
Daniel, I'm here with my soul as well. So well done, Daniel. I forgot to mention you. an old jazz standard written by Woody Herman in the uh, early 40s. Eventually it got some lyrics to it and um, you know it was kind of a, a dance tune for sure. It's recorded by several people throughout um, the years I guess and uh, featuring, sorry I let this down, help me out, Brody and Liam. Sorry, featuring Brody on the trombone and Liam on the tenor sax. Uh, this is our last year for this group. Several folks on secondary instruments here. So, you know, we've got Ryan on the, the bass and the piano. We've got Yu Chan on the guitar. We've got our two clarinetists, Liam and Logan here, playing or playing tenor sax. And I think that got everybody's secondary instruments. So thanks to those folks who switched for the benefit of the band. We'll talk about Just a few 
people making it back around, which is excellent. Um, again, this senior jazz band, we meet after school on Tuesdays for an hour, give or take. Uh, you may notice one senior jazz band looks extra senior, and uh, we've got Mr. Justin Murray sitting in for an ill student today, so we really appreciate uh, Justin's work. He's over at the University of Saskatchewan uh, working on a music ed degree, so thank you so much for subbing in for us today. We really appreciate it. another old jazz standard. It's entitled Take the A Train. Uh, originally written in the late 1930s, it was about the, um, the new A-line subway in New York. So, you know, you could take the A train and go here or there, uh, whatnot. Ella Fitzgerald is probably the most famous person who put lyrics to this and recorded it. You may recognize it. It's in several movies and, uh, and whatnot. So, our soloist for Take the A Train tonight, we'll have Mr. Murray, and we'll have me, I'll be filming, so we're excited about that. Please enjoy.
So John Cannon is a composer, he also plays the bass clarinet, and we're very happy to have him as a part of our program, so thank you for that music before. coffee drinkers, it truly is just about, you know, the everyday mundane routine of life that may start with a cup of black coffee.
We have one very last, very, very quick set change to get ready for the concert round, so please bear with us for a few moments. Pray times this is your cue to go get ready.
Thank you so much for going with us. That's our last big set change. Um, we have the grade nine band. I'm so thrilled with these people. Um, they are my favorite grade nines in the whole building. I think I can safely say that. There might be a few smatterings of grade nines here up front. I like a lot as well. But uh, these folks behind me have worked so hard this year. Um, only having band in grade six and part of grade seven. You have amazing musicians here. They are kind to one another. They are supportive of one another. And it is an absolute pleasure to work with them every day. Um, so kudos to you fine folks. Uh, we have two pieces for you as well. The first one will be introduced by Nico. Our first piece for you today is called Kronos, composed by Robert W. Smith. According to Greek mythology, Kronos is the Greek god of time. In the same spirit, Robert W. Smith wrote Kronos for bands to focus on the various musical elements in time. Some musical ideas move faster, while some move slower. In this piece, we also have two solos, played by Nila, one of our flutes, and Ferris, the saxophone. We also have the lovely duet played by myself and Katie, our bass player. Here's Curtis.
Thank you so much. I think I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you what the composer wrote in the last uh, 10 measures of that piece. It's supposed to be played fast, and then in brackets. As fast as possible, but no faster. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> um, every year at the Canadian Band Association, which is something that I belong to, um, is, is able to give out some certificates of recognition to band members. So the certificate is, again, on behalf of the Canadian Band Association, a certificate of distinction, uh, given in recognition of superior musicianship, leadership, dependability, loyalty, and cooperation. So I tell you, I could have given out 33 of them in this band, no doubt about it. Um, it was very, very difficult to decide just two, and I almost didn't give out any, uh, just for that reason. But I was able to, to pick out two people who um, have given exemplary service to, to this band. So the first person was a member of our junior national um, honor band earlier this year, plays in both the jazz band and the concert band, and really just brings a lot of positivity to our group. So our first CBA award of distinction for the grade nine band to Katie. Come on up. that this person uh, brings to a group. This person, for the last nine months, would almost weekly bring me somebody else who wanted to join band. Um, another musician in the school, or somebody who had played way back when, that you know really liked to hang out with, with the band students and that. So uh, even for grade 10, this person has brought a lot of people to join us. I have never worked with a beginner musician quite like this person, and it's actually 
on the last day here with us today. So, so be it. You have deserved this so much, and I thank you for everything that you've done for this group and for music in this school in general. Never before, I will never forget you. Your award tonight comes with a special Centennial Music t-shirt that I expect to be worn often. You don't get a pen, you haven't graduated, but you get a t-shirt. Uh, this goes to, I, I cannot possibly pronounce your name, so we will go with Sam. This amazing piece of music was written by John Williams and was arranged by Michael Story. John Williams is an accomplished composer who wrote the music for the first three Harry Potter films, and the music for, from the first film was nominated for the Best Original Score at 2002 Academy Awards. This piece includes different themes that you may hear in the first movie, so here is Pilots from Harry Potter.
Mm-hmm. Thank you very much, Great Night Band. Seniors, Senioran, this is your cue to head out. And Great Night, it looks like we will go off this way into the home. All right? Have a wonderful time. Too.
Thank you very much for your patience. We have the Brewing 10 band here meeting every other day. Oh, too much. Uh, meeting every other day and just before lunch. A very energetic group in such a positive way. Yeah, I'm pleased to work with them every other day at 11. Um, just some really awesome people in this group. So there's that. Uh, the first piece will be introduced by Maya. The first piece we're going to be playing is called Fuerza Furiosa. It is an original composition that depicts the furious forces of nature and how they affect our world. The calm and mystifying introduction sets the, sta sets the stage for the storm as it develops sustained forces for a long period of time. Throughout the piece, disturbances are heard, giving the storm time to intensify. At times, it seems as if things have calmed down a bit, but soon enough, the transition is made to the next stage they're representing multi-directional elements and intense developments all the way to the end.
Thank you very much. Our soloists in that group, there was a flute soli, which means they all play, and solos by um, Xander and Daniel in the trumpet section. So, thank you. Our next piece is Keep 2022. Composer Brian Balmages composed this piece as a sequel to his popular piece, Moscow 1941. Keep 2022 changes the narrative, where the theme of Moscow 1941, which was based on the Russian folk song, Meadowlands, has now become the aggressor. And the people of Ukraine are re represented by the Ukrainian anthem and powerful song, Prayer for Ukraine.
join us for that tune. So thank you very much to Hannah and to Grace from Senior Band for joining our, our group for that tune. Again, the Canadian Band Association allows me to hand out uh, only two certificates of distinction to members of this group. And again, I could hand out about 44 of them. Um, for dedication, for service to the band, for exemplary musicianship, for collegiality, for being, you know, excited when someone gets a part that was difficult. Uh, these folks cheer for each other, and it's just, it's so heartwarming, and uh, you really, you folks have done a fine job, um, as, have, as have these folks. So, two awards that I am able to give away, and only two. The first goes to someone who has uh, been involved in many of the groups that you've seen on stage, he also participated in um, a University of Saskatchewan jazz workshop and uh, is always asking for more, to be challenged a little bit more. So our first award tonight goes to Mr. Noah Wells. Again, to someone who's involved in many groups, uh, a real quiet leader, never says too much, but always dependable and always can be counted on to uh, be musical and to be uh, a great member of the team. Took on a second instrument for us in jazz band, joined Sioux Jazz Band uh, when we needed somebody else. So, Liam Paris. Thank you. Thank you. sung by Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and it tells the story of how his character, Maui, is seen as the hero of men in South Pacific legends. We had a lot of fun playing this piece, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
For our first piece, we will be playing Rock is composed by Randall D. Sanders. The piece is mostly played in 5-4. It features the percussion in one of the sections, and I will be enjoying it.
that ruckus happens at my house before 6.30 even. So that's what it sounds like. Awesome. Thank you so much, folks. Uh, our next tune, Aurora. Oh, <laughs> Hello. My name is Aurora, and I will be introducing our next piece. Shenandoah is an arrangement composed by Frank Ticelli, and it is inspired by the beauty of rivers. It is a musical representation of the life-affirming energy sustained by river systems. The Shenandoah River is located in Virginia and is thought to either be named after an Iroquois chief or the Senator word meaning daughter of the moon. In his piece, Frank Ticelli captures the essence of a river. The arrangement is complicated in its structure as there are many simultaneous moving parts. We as a band have used this opportunity to work as a team to ensure that these individual moments fit together with precision. We hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Um, yeah. That was a tune that we played at the Saskatoon Music Festival, and uh, they played it so well there that we decided to keep it and play for you folks, so you had a chance to hear it. So thank you for that, folks. The Canadian Band Association allows me to hand out um, some awards, since this is a combined grade, so some, some awards to folks in this band. Uh, it has been a pleasure to work with these folks. It has been a long two years. Not in that way, right? So you're giving me a good look. Um, but in the way that we haven't had all of the opportunities that we always have in band, uh, which makes the, the times we get to perform together even more special. Um, the people that are receiving the awards tonight are people who were happy with whatever opportunities presented them. Any chance to make music together, um, always supportive of the group and uh, whatever they could do to help out the program and cheer for others and whatnot. So uh, I would like to first present an award to someone who learned a brand new instrument this year for jazz band and is usually the first to say good morning to me and the last to say good evening and the first to say thank you. Um, Kira, my thank you to you for your positivity and your enthusiasm that you bring to the band. Come and get your award. award winners up together. Um, never in my life have I had a percussion section like I've had this year. You four folks at the back are amazing. This is the first percussion section in the history of my 20 year career to not drop a mallet or ask where their music is. You know, they just are wonderful, wonderful section. And I wish you could give enough awards for the whole group of you. But the four of you, thank you for what you bring to this back, all four of you. I would like to bring up our members that are part of Jazz Band. They make me pick, and it was hard. So um, I really would like to recognize, especially Hannah and Grace, for all that they bring to all of us. presented with a Centennial Collegiate pin to commemorate all of their efforts here in our music program. So now would be good time to come on up. And uh, we want to recognize these fine folks who spent uh, so much time with us. Ms. Odin, I hope, oh, good, perfect, fine. Fire students, please join the line in grade 12. Hello everyone, my name is John Hansan, and I'm going to attend Western University next year, but I will still keep in my music talent and bring to another province. Next year, I will be going into animal bioscience at the U of S. Um, I plan to, in two years, apply for the Western College of Veterinary Medicine, and I also plan to audition for the Wind Orchestra in the fall. Hi, I'm Abigail McGrath Broda. Um, I'm taking gap year next year, save money because I have none. Um, and, then I'm, and then I'm hoping to go into education. Take a 
gap year next year and I'm going to study at the U of S and I've enjoyed my four years here in the band program at Centennial and I'd like to thank Ms. McBride. Hi, I'm Olivia. I will be attending the University of Saskatchewan in the fall for the Arts and Science program. I'm Danielle, and I'll be taking a gap year to work. I'm David, and I will be attending Western University in September um, for taking for studying business. And next year, I think I will build up my own band and then continue my music career. My name is Asher Herod, and next year I'll be attending the University of British Columbia for business. Um, hi, my name is Juliana Valle, and I'm taking a little break after high school. And uh, next year I'm going to attend a College of Agriculture and Fire Resources. Next year, I hope we'll, I will stay in Canada for the rest of my life. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Kira Zoros, and I will be attending the University of Saskatchewan at the College of Kinesiology next year. I was going to ask to say a couple words. I was here in grade nine when, um, and I was in choir. It's been a rough two years. There has been no choir program, so I am incredibly thankful. That, I am incredibly <laughs> thankful to Mrs. Odin for taking on what I can imagine was must have been very difficult. I'm so excited to be back in the choir program. So I just wanted to say thank you so much. say how sweet are your children, um, how wonderful are you musicians, and it's really been my honor and my pleasure to take part in this, um, so thank you so much. musicians here. We love you. Hello? Okay. Hi. So the last piece we have for you tonight is How to Train Your Dragon. It is a medley of a bunch of pieces from the movie How to Train Your Dragon, composed by John Powell and arranged by Sean O'Loughlin. Enjoy! Thank you. 